Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Amanda Ensing and this is my beauty space. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a product review, a first impression wear test of the brand new Laura Mercier Concealer. So I just got this in the mail. It is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. Seamless coverage, weightless feel, flawless wear. This concealer just launched. It is retailing for $28 and you get 0.23 fluid ounces. There are 12 different shades. I'm gonna show you all the shades right now since I just got them in. There are 12 different shades. I feel like most of them look more on the neutral side, not too warm, not too cool. I do think they should come out with some lighter and darker shades. There is only really, I feel like, two dark shades. This one I feel like could probably even work for tan skin. And I feel like these really aren't that dark. So I definitely like to see them come out with more shades. And then on the other side, for the lighter shades, I don't know how it's showing up on camera, but this really doesn't seem that light. I feel like fair girls wouldn't be able to wear this. I don't know. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand right now for you guys so you can see the lightest and the darker shades. But before I swatch them, let me read to you guys a little bit about the concealer, just what it claimed to do. So this is supposed to be coverage. I have like a little pamphlet right here they sent. Coverage that won't crease. It's medium to full coverage, flexes with skin to seamlessly conceal under eye darkness and facial imperfections. All day hydration it creates a crease resistant natural finish. It also says it has a weightless feel with a blurring effect. So it's lightweight and you can't see it on the skin. And it has a blurring powder blend that diffuses light to smooth the look of fine lines and create a soft focus effect. I'm all for that if it does that. It claims to have 12 hours of high performance wear, powered by skin fusion technology, long wearing flexible polymers fused to skin for a wear that's transfer, sweat, humidity, and water resistant. Should I dunk my head in water and see if it is? We'll see. It says use the doe foot applicator wand dot under the eyes over discolorations and imperfections onto any areas of darkness. Gently press and blend with fingertips. So it recommends using your fingers. Okay, so here are the pictures of the models, which they look great. I'm gonna swatch on my hand the two lightest and the two darkest shades, just so you can see. The lightest shade right here is 1C, and then the next lightest shade is 1N, which this is what it looks like. I really like the packaging. The packaging feels really nice. And these are two very different undertones. The first one is very peachy. This is the lightest shade, if you guys can see. It's very, very peachy in person, like pretty, pretty orange. I'm, I'm not for that shade. And this is 1N. And then the two darkest shades, I have 6N and 6W. I'm gonna swatch right below these. 6N looks more yellowy orange undertoned again. So these are the two darkest shades. I don't think they're that dark. I think that they definitely need more darker and lighter shades. So I'm gonna go in with the shade 2W. This is what the color looks like. So I'm gonna start on this side of my face. I'm just going to go underneath of my eyes and blend it out with my fingertips since it recommends doing it that way. Back in the day, I used to always use my fingertips, but my favorite way is to use my beauty blender. So that's what I'll do on this side. So let's just go in. It has a little doe foot applicator, very nice. Now it says that it's very hydrating, so it doesn't crease. But in my experience, sometimes concealers that are too hydrating will crease. I definitely like more hydrating concealers, but they can crease if they're too hydrating. I haven't used my finger to blend my concealer in so long. I like the color. I'm also gonna take it on my lid since I didn't put eye primer down. At least my nails look pretty right. <laughs> It's definitely hydrating, but it doesn't feel too much. And it did pack a lot of coverage. It has almost a little bit of a tacky texture. The Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is a very hydrating concealer, and that one is more watery. It's thinner in consistency, where this one is a little bit tackier. Looks pretty good so far with my finger. So let's do the other side. I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender. You can see the difference between this eye and this eye. So I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender. It blends out really easy, like super easy. This is the first concealer I've been excited about in a long time. I feel like since Shape Tape, which was like my favorite for ever. So I was like, I have to review this for you guys. All right, so here's the difference. Up close, it looks very similar. My eyelid, however, is already creasing, which I haven't said it yet, where this one is starting to crease. So it's definitely starting to crease a little bit. 
Um, not too bad underneath of my eye, but definitely on my eyelid. So I'm gonna take my sponge and just blend it out. And then on the side, use my finger. I wanna see how buildable it is. So I'm gonna add a little bit more on this eye in the inner corner. And then I'll also do a little bit on the other eye just to even it up and use my finger. So I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm gonna pair these two together since this is also by Laura Mercier and I love this powder. So I'm gonna go in with this and my Beauty Blender and I'm gonna go ahead and set underneath of my eyes before it starts to crease anymore. And I'm gonna apply a little bit on my chin and down my nose where I normally highlight and around my nose where I get redness. And this time I'm gonna blend it out with a brush just to see how it blends. This brush is a Morphe E56. I mean, still it blends really easily. Very nice. I'm gonna dust off the excess powder on my eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit below where I contour. And this I'm gonna blend out with my Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna use a brush to set the rest of my face. I'm not gonna bake, except for underneath of my contour there, I will bake because I normally bake right here. So I'm gonna take 6N, the second darkest shade, and we're gonna try to contour with this just on the cheeks and see how it blends. Now I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender to blend this. I feel like it's kind of blending into nothing a little bit. I don't like the way it blended with my beauty blender right there. Maybe because I already used powders to set. Or you just the brush looks way better than this side. For sure. Let's try along my forehead where I didn't put any powder. Yeah, it's blending way better. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. So far, it looks pretty good. On the side, I used my finger to blend. It definitely looks a little bit patchier where this side looks like pretty perfect. I feel like right here, it just looks a little bit off, like it's not quite as blended. Um, but overall, I think it looks really, really nice. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I will be right back. All right, so my makeup is done. This is the look that I came up with today. The concealer looks so freaking good, you guys. Like so freaking bomb. Overall thoughts, I freaking love it so far. I think that it looks amazing. I definitely prefer to use my beauty blender than my fingers because this side looked way better in person. It's a very small difference, but I can definitely tell, like especially right in the inner corner, it just doesn't look as full coverage. As far as the price, it is a little bit on the pricey side. It is a high-end concealer. On Sephora.com right now, if I compare to other concealers, NARS Radiant Creamy is $30, so it's $2 cheaper than that, which I love that concealer. Yves Saint Laurent is $38. Ain't nobody got time for that. Kat Von D concealer is 26. It Cosmetics 24. Makeup Forever 34. I love the finish of the concealer. It didn't make any parts of my face look cakey or dry. After I set it, it did not crease at all. I mean, it looks pretty amazing. Even on other areas of my skin, like my chin and my nose, it looks flawless. It's pretty late right now, it's 8.42. I'm gonna go get some coffee. I know, like who drinks coffee at <laughs> nine at night? I do. I'm gonna go drink coffee and then I will be back and show you guys my final thoughts. This is what it looks like outside. How's it look? How's my concealer look? It's looking really good. No, I mean, there's no creasing or anything, like, honestly. It's good, right? It's, yeah. It's bomb. <laughs> Had to grab that good light for a second. There ain't nothing wrong with it. Great <laughs> coffee. I'm gonna be up for hours. I'm gonna be up for hours. <laughs> All right, you guys. We're back. We're back. 120, 125 a.m. It's time to go to bed. I'm tired. So it's been on for what, five hours now? 
So it looks freaking good. I know it's only five hours, but I feel like that's still a good amount of wear. Oh my gosh, it looks freaking good. Like it looks freaking good. I was outside, it was freezing cold. I think that it looks bomb, highly, highly recommend. Go check it out. I'm loving it and I'm super excited to keep wearing it. This is the first concealer I've been excited about in a really long time. So I'm glad that it wore really good. I honestly didn't think it was gonna be as good as it wore. I'm usually really, really hard to please when it comes to concealers. Like. I'm super picky with the concealers that I like, but so far I really like this one. The coverage stayed very even. It didn't flake off. It doesn't look cakey. It looks great. It looks good. Laura Mercier, you say good. They do need to come out with more shades. I feel like it's a reoccurring theme right now in the beauty industry that we're all talking about is that brands aren't coming up with enough shades since there's only really two dark shades. And I use the second darkest one to contour. So I feel like it's not even that dark. I'm not self tan right now. So they definitely need to come out with more shades so more people can use the concealer. But as far as my first impression, I think that they did a really great job with the formula. On the side that I blended with my finger, it still, I don't think it looks as good. So. I would prefer using a beauty blender. I wouldn't recommend using your finger unless you have to. It's not that it's gonna look bad if you use your finger. I just feel like the beauty blender side looks way more airbrushed. Like this side doesn't look as great and my makeup started like bleeding on this side. So I don't know what's going on with that, but this side does not look as good. I like the concealer. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're looking for a new concealer to try. I do have concealers that are like a fraction of the price that I like just as much, like the LA Girl Pro Conceal, which is under $5. I love that concealer. So if you don't wanna spend the money, I don't think it's something like you have to have, but if you're looking to try a new concealer, I definitely recommend it because like, I'm loving the way it looks. Hope this video was helpful for you guys. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it, if it was helpful. Hit subscribe, join my A-team if you have not already, and make sure those post notifications are turned on. Thank you as always for watching guys, and I will catch you in my next video.